Salutations everyone, I am Skeptical Scroll and welcome to something a little bit different. Uh, this is a Hunger Games Simulator, which uh, never realised existed until I saw Mod playing it. He uh, uploaded a video last night, this being Friday night, I'm recording this on Saturday, hopefully to up Saturday in the evening. And this is a little bit of a simulation game, it's good fun. The music that you're hearing, it's remixes of um, Streets of Rage. This is Streets of Rage 2. I think it's the first stage, Go Straight. This is a little bit of a remix of it this one's done. Let's see, from the districts, this is how I've done it. So, District 1 is myself and Whipstitch. Some of these are exactly the same as mods, I'll say that. And mod, you get all the credit for this. <laughs> District 2, mod and Murtai. District 3, we've got Watson and Tort. That's one. District 4, Locke and Sinia. District 5, 4040 and Shuna. Shuna. District 6, Pasta and Dr. Jamie Neil Keppermarsh person. District 7, you've got Azraf and you got Chris Viking. District 8, you've got Red Sins and Drazar. District 9, Simon Parsons, Swiss Parsons, and Andy Ray Sims. District 10, you got Vieta and Torkus. District 11, you got Warzak, 85DF, and Wildfire. And District 12, Yeltha and Vanzar. Yeltha is actually my sister, and Vanzar is my sister's boyfriend. So, I've actually got all legitimate people in here. Fuck you, mod. <laughs> After you had to put Matilda and the mod sucks mug in there. <laughs> but without further ado, let's go ahead of it and let's just, just see how this plays out. So, proceed. As true it's on the pyramids, all one sounds. Shuna runs away from the cornucopia. Locke runs away from the cornucopia. Draz runs away from the cornucopia. Owl snatches a bottle of alcohol on a rag. <laughs> Murta and Chris fight for a bag. Chris gives <laughs> gives up and retreats. Tort and Tort scares Vanzar away from the cornucopia. Keppel grabs a jar of fishing bait while Sinia gets fishing gear. Teamwork there. Andy runs away from the cornucopia. So, Squizzy, Torcus and Simon work together to get as many supplies as possible. Smart move. Whitsitch receives a trident from in, retrieves a trident from inside the cornucopia. Pasta snatches a pair of scythes. Oh dear. Redsons runs away from the cornucopia. DF runs away from the cornucopia. Mod runs away from the cornucopia. Wildfire finds Verta hiding in the cornucopia, but Verta kills her? I think it's supposed to be him. I've accidentally got your gender wrong, Wildfire, sorry. <laughs> but Verta has killed Wildfire on the first day. Watson runs away from the cornucopia. 40 spears Yeltha in the abdomen. 40? You killed my sister! That is not very nice of you. Disgraceful. That's just from the start. Day 1. Mod sucks. Chases Sinia. Tort chases Locke. Squizzy, Murtai, Chris, Vieta and Watson hunt for other attributes. Fucking hell, team right there. 40 receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Bastard. Siren Parsons tries to spear fish with a trident. But Stitch receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Oh dear. Redsons picks flowers. <laughs> You're worse. Keppel, Andy and Torcus hunt for other tributes. Oh, the team's working. Shuna travels to higher ground. Pasta receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. It's always good. Draz chases DF. Alzraf collects fruit from a tree. So he's had alcohol on the rag and now he's collecting fruit. He's not really doing much, is he? He's just sitting there for the long haul. Vanzar searches for a water source. Okay. That's day one. Night. Oh, four and a Two cannon shots can be heard in the district. distance. Wildfire from District 11 and Yeltha from District 12. I can't believe that 40 killed my sister. Both of them down here. But we carry on. Night 1. Verta starts a fire. That's Drazi's job. Murtai cooks her food before putting the fire out. Watson's, Watson is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Ah, this remix now is um, Streets of Rage. The original Street Rage round one. Bow, ba, ba, ba. Whipstitch, Chris, and Torcus sleep in shifts. Let me just. Um, you'll see this. Let's turn it down a bit. There we go. Yeah. 
Wait, so did Chris and Tucker sleep in shifts? Squizzy past her 40s to discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Andy lets Shuna into her shelter. Very kind of you. Redson dies of dysentery. <laughs> so he's picking flowers and then he dies of dysentery. Wow. Sorry, Redsons. Keppel defeats Alan in the fight but spares his life. So Al's actually done something now then. Drowse is working by nightwares. That happened in mods as well. Lock starts a fire. Cinia is neighbour to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Lock, you're not looking after your half here very well. Mods sucks to receive fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Torta is neighbour to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Vanzar cries himself to sleep. That would never happen in real life. DF and Simon hold hands. Aww, how sweet. Day 2. Owl scares Torkus off. Mod sucks defeats Squizzy in a fight but spares his life. I suppose thanks is in order, Mod. How dare you beat me though? Vanzar tries to be a fish of a trident. Andy fishes. DF diverts Whipstitch's attention and runs away. Watson stalks 40. That's Verta's job. Chris thinks about home. Shuna sprains her ankle while running away from Cynia. Murtai makes a slingshot. Torvis is clean water from an unknown sponsor. Draz makes a wooden spear. Oh dear. Simon collects fruit from a tree. Pasta searches for firewood. Keppel receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Virta injures herself. Silly. And Locke sees smoke rise in the distance but decides not to investigate. That's someone's fire. Lock, investigate, kill. For night two, oh, four tributes. One shot, one contract be hidden distance for Red Sins, who died of dysentery. <laughs> Bloody dysentery, I don't know. Okay, proceed. 40 40 kills Mod Sucks while he's sleeping. 40 is a bad, bad man. I mean, bad man. He kills my sister, and then he kills Mod. You're a bastard! Torch stays awake all night. Draz destroys DF supplies while he's asleep. Draz! Pastor, Watson and Squizzy cheerfully sing songs together. I could actually picture that happening. Verta looks at the night sky. Vanzar and Andy hold hands. Moving on from my sister, come on! Locke and Chris run into each other and decide to truce for the night. That sounds about right, yeah. Murtai, talks and Whipstitch discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Kepler and Simon huddle for warmth. Aww. Bit spooning. Who's Little Spoon? Yeah? Al tries to sing himself to sleep. Shuna sees a fire but stays hidden. Sinia questions her sanity. Okay. <clears throat> if you couldn't tell, I'm a bit sniffly, a bit bunged up. I've got a bit of a cold, so sorry about that. Proceed. Day 3. Sinia, Dra 14 Draz, and Murtai. Raid Whipstitch's camp while she's hunting. There's a theme here with Whip. In mods, I think it's Tort and DF. Either stole or destroyed her supplies. Talkers makes a sling slingshot. DF defeats Summon in the fight but spares his life. No one's killing anyone here, apart from 40. Tort searches for water. Vanzar Kamish flies himself in the bushes. Virta and Watson work together to drown Owl. Oh, you bastards. Drowning Owl's wrath. Andrew receives the hatchet. Keppel scares Pasta off. Chris goes hunting. Squizzy receives a hatchet. Good. <coughs> Got a weapon to afford people to fend people off now. Shuna kills Locke for his supplies. Sh Forty and Shuna, seriously, you're killing everyone. You bastards. Okay. Three cannon shots can be in the distance for Mod, Al, and Locke. Let's see how it is. So. Murtai's A1 District 2, Sydney's A1 District 4, Drazzy A1 District 8. There's only one person from any district gone. You can't really tell that Halzraff is gone because it's black and white anyway. But yeah, two kills and one kill. Verta's got two kills as well, actually. Really? Okay. Should have kill someone earlier on, I've just not paid attention to it. But, okay. Honestly, I'm still alive, for now. Watch me be dead now. Oh, this one's Revenge of Shinobi, boss theme, terrible beat, remix by Ice Inferno. I'll say that, Ice Inferno is doing these remixes. Pretty good. <clears throat> Night 3. Andy cries herself to sleep. Tork climbs a tree for rest. Vieta and Watson hold hands. 
Simon starts a fire. Keppel whips stitch Van Zyne's shoe and attention with ghost stories to lighten the mood. Chris sets up camp for the night. Senior tries to treat her infection. Pastor DF squeezes your mate, I tell you with ghost stories. Fourteen Draz sleep in shifts. Talkers looks at the night sky. Fourteen Draz. Yeah, okay. Day four. Keppel collects fruit from a tree. Forty searches for a water source. Draz constructs a shack. Let me guess, there's gonna be fire in that shrack. In that shrack? Shack? Because it's Draz. Vanzar travels to high ground. Tort, Squizzy and Torcus and Simon raid Watson's camp while he's hunting. Murtai searches for water. Chris collects fruit from a tree. Pasta goes hunting. Virta receives fresh food. Whipstitch collects fruit from a tree. Andy defeats DF in the fight but spares his life. Kill him! Senior collects fruit from a tree. And Shuna is pricked by thorns while picking berries. This is very slow to kill anyone, isn't it? I'd pick medium kills. The mod must have on high. But nobody has died. So on to night four. Watson sets up camp. Jeff sets up camp for the night. Squizzy begs for Verta to kill him. She refuses keeping Squizzy alive. I would never beg for someone to kill me. Come on. Senior looks at the night sky. Which stitch questions are sanity. Fair enough. Simon 40 and Shuna sleeping shifts. Chris and Keppel huddle for warmth. Andy sets up camp. Murtai tends to pass his wounds. Tortoise is able to convince Torcus to not kill him. So Torcus has just killed Tor then, I think. Vanzar cries herself to sleep again. And Dryas quietly hums. <laughs> Let's proceed. So, day five. Shuna, Draz, Jeff, and Chris raid Andy's camp while she's hunting. Simon defeats Sinu in a fight but spares her life. Keppel t tends to squeeze his wounds. Pasta tries to sleep through the day. Virta chases Murtai. Forty makes a spear. Whips is pricked by thorns by picking berries. Tuckers hunts for other tributes. Vanzar receives clean water. And Watson tries to sleep through the day. So, Tort is down. Killed by Torcus. <clears throat> Night 5. Squizzy and Chris talk about tributes alive. Virta cries herself to sleep. Sinia receives medical supplies. Shuna goes to sleep, but 40 stays awake all night. With such talk as Simon and Keppel sleeping shifts. Vanzar's way to combine nightmares. This doesn't sound like him at all. Watson looks at the night sky. DF, Andy, Murta, and Draz sleeping shifts. And Pasta looks at the night sky. Nobody's dying! Someone be killed! Squizzy searches for firewood. Shuna makes a wooden spear. Torcus convinces Vanzar to not kill him, only to kill him instead. Oh, did Torcus kill Vanzar there? In each case, that's my sister and her boyfriend Doubt. Chris collects fruit from a tree. Draz and Myrtai hunt for other attributes. Tributes, sorry. Xenia attacks Vieta, but she manages to escape. Little bitch. <laughs> Simon diverts anti and runs away. Don't do that in real life. <laughs> Which stitch discovers a cave. Oh dear. Watson tries to spear fish for a trident. DF receives fresh food. And 40 makes a wooden spear. And there's a bit of talking there on that track. Let's go to the next one. Ah, Sonic. 40 makes a wooden spear. Keppel severely injures Pasta, but puts him out of his misery. Pasta's just been killed then, I think. Oh! <laughs> Carnivorous squirrels start attacking the tributes. <laughs> Whipstitch survives. Squir Simon's brutally attacked by a scurry of squirrels. Squizzy survives. Well, I'm a, I'm a squirrel, so I'm fine. Chris survives. Virta survives. Forty tries to kill as many squirrels as he can, but they're too many. Yes! Forty, you're dead. Watson uses squirrels to his advantage, shoving Kev Keppel into them. Oh dear. Murta tries to kill as many squirrels as he can, but they're too many. Ooh. Senior survives. Jeff survives. Draz survives. Andy shoves them all onto Shuna. Talker survives. Did some people die to squirrels there? Yes, they did. Vanzar's been killed and Pasta. And Simon, Forty, Keppel, Murtai, and Shuna all died to the carnivorous squirrels. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, everyone's status. District 2 is down. District 5 and 6 are down as well. District 12 is down. There's only one district. No, two districts have got F1 alive still. 
District 10, Verta and Tolka, so we've killed two people each. District 1, me and Whip, who haven't killed anyone yet. I'm glad... I'm glad um, Forty's dead. Killing, killing my sister. Christ! You bad, bad man. But, let's uh, proceed. Night 6, Watson tends to his wounds. Senior quietly tums. Whipstitch begs for Chris to kill her, but he refuses. Whip wouldn't ask for that either. Talker, Squizzy and Vertus discuss the games. DF tends to his wounds. Draz lets Andy into a shelter. Okay, there's not too many people left now. So we're getting there. Day 7, DF makes a slingshot. Watson collects fruit. Andy defeats Draz in the fight, but spares his life. Just kill him, come on. Squizzy and Whip hunt for other other tributes. Ah, teaming up, finally. Chris receives medical atten medical supplies. Sinia such forward. Vieta attacks Tolkus, but he manages to escape. Oh, oh. Okay. Vieta, you're evil in this. <coughs> Night seven. Chris sets an explosive off, killing DF Draz and Andy. Holy fuck! <laughs> Chris, bloody hell! Three and one there. Vieta lets Tolkus into a shelter. So after almost killing him. You allow him into your shelter. She's gonna kill him, t kill him tonight. Squizzy and Whip, slitch, whip Stitch sleeping shifts. Watson and Sydney tell stories about themselves to each other. Okay. This one's Streets of Rage, the Good Ending remix. This is Black Aruk's Reconsole. Ah, the feast. The cornucopia is in pleasure with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs. Whip Stitch decides not to go to the feast. And neither Squizzy, or Sydney, or Watson, or Torcus. Or Verta, or nobody goes to the feast. Fair enough. Day eight then. Watson overhears talks and Verta talking in the distance. Whipstitch picks flowers. Senior diverts twists attention and runs away. Squizzy dies from an infection. Oh well. I had a good run. I lasted eight days, I suppose. Well, seven days actually. Uh oh well. I accept it. So four cannon shots could be heard in the distance. DF, Draz, Andy, and Squizzy. So what's left? So you got Whip, you got Watson, you got Cynia, you got Chris, <coughs> you got Vieta, and you got Torcus. So District 10 is still alive and kicking quite well. Come on, Whip. Night 8. Torcus stays awake all night. Chris and Whip sleep sleeping shifts. Vieta, Cynia, and Watson sleeping shifts. Day 9. Talkers diverts Chris's attention and runs away. Scaredy cat. Watson sees smoke rise in the distance but doesn't investigate. Senior stalks Whipstitch. Leave her alone. Vieta receives an explosive. Oh dear. Let's see where that's going. Four tributes. Nobody's died. Night 9. Talkers thinks about home. Senior thinks about winning. Whipstitch and Chris talk about the tributes still alive. Watson passes out from exhaustion. Ooh. And Vieta will never start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Maybe she dies from hypothermia. Vieta practices her archery. Fuck. <laughs> Watson discovers a river. Senior tends to whip stitch his wounds. Tucker searches for firewood and Chris constructs a shack. So it's all going there. <clears throat> no one dead for one turn. Night ten. Senior tends to Verta's room in now. Torcus and Watson receive explosives. Ver and Whipstitch and Chris are sleeping shifts. They're teaming up now. Day 11. Torcus steals from Whipstitch while she isn't looking. You little bastard. Chris and Verta fight Watson and Senior. Chris and Verta survive. Oh shit. <laughs> We're down to four. Oh dear. So Watson and Cynia are out. It's Whip, Chris, and then you got Vita and Talkers. Vita's got four kills. Chris has got five. Oh dear. <laughs> this is going well. Oh, it's not the Hedgehog. Spring Yard Zone remix. Black Aruk, Soul Make. So, night 11. Talkers goes to sleep. Vita says they would start a fight again and sleeps without warmth. Chris and Whipstitch run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Chris does well in these, apparently. In mods he was right at the end. 
Chris practices his archery on day 12, and Veerta overhears a whip station talkers talking in the distance. Oh, arena event. Wolf mutts are let loose in the air. arena. Wow. Whipstitch survives. Chris is crushed by a pack of wolf mutts. Veerta survives. And Torcus is eaten by wolf nuts. Wolf mutts. Wolf nuts? Yes, wolf nuts eat Torcus. Wow. So, two cannon shots. Chris and Torcus. It's between Whip and Veerta now. Whip who hasn't killed anyone, and Veerta who's killed four people. How's this gonna go? Whipstitch kills Veerta with a hatchet! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sorry Veerta, but Whip won! <laughs> oh, night 12. Bloody hell, that took a while, didn't it? 20 minutes? The winner is Whipstitch from District 1. Proceed to the placements. So, yeah, Whipstitch won. Wildfire was the first one out. I go 7th, that's not bad. But, wow. One kill, four, two, five for Chris. Cindy didn't kill anyone at all, or me, or Draz. A lot of us didn't kill anyone. Forty killed two people right down there. Okay, so the summary. That's yeah. We don't need to see all that. Proceed to the stats. So district placements, district one. That was us. Kills made. Chris, then Vieta. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> well. Thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a sort of impromptu game with the uh, nice retro remixes in the background. Um, thank you to Mod for doing the video of this initially and showing me this game, it is pretty cool. And let me know what you think in the comments, and if you want to see me do this again, just say. Give me some likes, say in the comments, I might do some more. But for now, thanks for watching guys, bye bye. Ooh, Street Race 2 Dreamer, Jazzy Remix, yay! Ba 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 da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ah.